Hello guys, Martin Unix here. Welcome to another interactive session. Today I'm going to show you four methods that I adopt whenever I'm maintaining trailogs. So welcome guys, like more comment, share to your friends. Today I'm going to show you four basic methods to adopt whenever you want to maintain your log strands. And uh, I'll be working on dummy mannequin hand which we had just given a tutorial uh, there before or not to install such log stones. So method number one, guys, is gonna be palm rolling technique. And how do we do the palm rolling technique? So first and foremost, we begin by identifying the roots here stones, which seems to be loose at the roots. So once you identify the loose hair stones, you grab them. So you grab the Russia strands, then wrap them around in a clockwise manner. Have a look. I'm just going to do it in a slow down fashion just for the sake of our beginners. Wrap the loose hair strands in a clockwise manner. That way. Make sure the loose hair strands can overlap each other as you work backwards while wrapping the loose hair strands in a clockwise manner that way that's how you do it have a look the loose hair strands are already wrapped on the log strand and the log strand seems to have gotten another shape have a look now point number two assuming that you had just washed the hair so the hair is damp you can go ahead and apply your locking gel then palm roll the log strand in this case, my log strand is dry. So I'm going to wet my log strand using my leave-in treatment. I just want my log strand to be wet at that point. You see, this is the locking gel which I usually use. So I'm going to pick a small amount of locking gel. Then apply it at the roots. I'm going to apply the gel at the roots. Then do the palm rolling technique. The palm rolling technique is usually done by a palm rolling the log strand in a clockwise manner, that way. Then, as usual, I usually create a knot at the base, which prevents the log strand from unwinding. So, I want my log strand to dry in that position. You can leave it in that position. If you are not comfortable or, or else if you are not able to do the knot at the bends, you can simply use a clip. Use a clip after rolling the log strand. You can simply use a clip like on my case and attach the clip at a certain point so that the log strand can dry in that position. Method number two guys we are going to do a comp coil technique. And how do we do the comp coil technique? This is the professional tip that I'm gonna be using. It's a closed tooth uh, kind of comp. So let's go ahead and basics on this, you need to ensure that the lock strand is wet. Why are we always ensuring that the lock strands are wet? Remember that guys, when the hair is wet, it tends to take in products quickly. Remember, the water facilitates uh, the means of hair absorbing products in with easiness. So when the, uh, the hair is wet, then it might tend to lock uh, well and fast. So let's go ahead and wet the hair portion. Let's wet the hair portion. After our hair portion is wet, I'm going to go ahead and use my locking gel. So I'll pick my locking gel using my comb. Have a look. So after picking the locking gel, I'm going to apply the locking gel at the roots. You can somehow sprint the locking gel using your fingers that way. Then do the comb coil. Whenever you are doing the comb coil, make sure you don't comb the hair strands at the roots. You can 
simply wrap the in growth around the log strand as usual. Pick your comb, insert it at certain level. Then do your comb coil technique in a clockwise manner. Have a look all the way to that level. Upon reaching that level, take off your comb. Then use your palms to tighten the roots a little bit. That way, you can either choose to put a knot at the bottom, like on my case. Now, this knot prevents the lock strand from unraveling. Or else, if you're a beginner, you can just pick the pin and make sure you secure the lock strand in place at that level so that the lock strand can dry in that position. Method number three, the interlocking method, my best method. And what we use to do the interlocking method, we use this large hook. Have a look. This is what I'm using. You can choose to do the four point turn or a two point turn, but I I like using the three point turn. So let's do the three point turn. I'm gonna begin with one from the left side. Then I'm gonna do the center. Let's do the center. Let's do the right. And then just to tighten, just to tighten the base, I'm gonna identify one of the points. Like on my case, I'm gonna insert the crochet in this direction. And I'm gonna elaborate further as to why I've inserted the crochet in a direction while tilted a little bit. Now, have a look. This is what we call the interlocking method. And why did I insert the crochet in this angle, but not straight? Because I didn't want to create that uh, separation at the bends. Remember when you put the crochet in this angle, straight, it creates that letter Y at the bends, that separation, which now gives another ugly look at the bottom, since everybody can tell that you have just done interlocks on your hair. So this is method number three, very nice method that you can adopt. Our method number four, guys, involves a crochet hook. And on my case, I'm gonna be using a 0.5 mm to do the crochet method. And how do we do the crochet method? Guys, we usually uh, make the hair strands coatic at this particular point. And how does that happen? We usually twist the hair strands by creating certain micro loops, which now makes the hair to mat at that particular point. So to begin with, identify the loose hair strands at the roots. Make sure you grab the loose hair strands. You can somehow wrap the loose hair strands a little bit just to be sure. Then pick your crochet. Guys, there are many ways on how to do the crochet. I'm just gonna show you the best way that uh, I usually adopt, which I'm sure with. And so I just insert your crochet while tilting the log strand in certain directions. So let's begin. On this case, I'm gonna begin by tilting the log strand in clockwise manner. Have a look. Clockwise manner. I'm just trying to be slow, just for the sake of our beginners. We are tilting the log strand in clockwise manner. What kind of process is happening is that uh, I'm just trying to create some loops while matting the hair strands together, tilting the log strand in a clockwise manner. Now, after a certain level, make sure you interchange the process and tilt the log strand in and clockwise manner. Now we are tilting the log strand in and clockwise manner. That's how you tighten the roots using the, the crochet pin. 
have a look. That's how you tighten the roots. Guys, I'm just trying to be slow, just for the sake of our beginners. So, to a certain point, let's be quick a little bit and see what happens. So that's how you do the instant crochet, by tilting the logs to hand in both clockwise and anti-clockwise manner, so as to ensure that you match the hair strands together to come up with that coatic look, which now makes the lock strand to lock uh, on ones. So that's another method of maintaining the lock strands. Have a look guys, whenever you're doing the instant crochet, make sure that uh, you, you leave behind a protective growth. Have a look. You leave behind a protective growth. The protective growth acts as a breather and it protects uh, the harshness of the process from uprooting the strands, the hair strands from the scrub. You can have a look guys, and now we have just done the instant way. And now these are the four best techniques that I usually adopt to make sure that I come up with, you know, a healthy lock stones. And just to emphasize on the last method, which was the instant crochet, uh, the idea of leaving behind this protective growth is to protect the, you know, the hair strands from being uprooted from the scalp. Since the crochet at times is usually very harsh whenever you are close to the scalp. And the method might tend to be very much painful. So always leave behind a protective growth at the roots. So that's the best way you can do it. So guys, you can choose whichever method you want to adopt from these four best methods that, that I've just shown to maintain dreadlocks. Thank you for watching my content to the end. Share my work to your friends. Stay locked for more tutorials to come. And for those who want to join my classes, consider reaching out. And thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed the session. Kindly like my work, comment, share to your friends, and stay locked for more tutorials to come.